I'm pretty sure there's a woman. Probably not That's the most. It's probably like a housing <laughs> complex. <laughs> Winchester, bro. Winchester, Winchester, bro. Winchester, bro. Winchester is probably like a hood in here. Winchester is, a, is, a, is the name of that mansion. And this oh, is you why the gun people. And this, you, this oh, is why from, British people laugh at us. Where? Oh, you oh, from Winchester? You sound like clowns, right? though. You from Winchester, bro. Real bad man thing. I fuck with Brits. Real bad um, man thing. They're probably thinking, idiots. Winchester's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Winchester's a car. You blooming idiot. You no, blooming sounds... onion. No. no <laughs> whoa. It's not that city. was very. I think that's the wackest thing I've ever said in 101 episodes. Probably. <laughs> 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 blooming onion. <laughs> blooming that was bad. That was a blooming onion. What do they? Bro. What do they say? Dull. They call you dull, right? Is dull one of the words when they call you stupid? Yeah, that that is one. Um, dull it, or wanker. Mm, wa- no, no, wanker is like... I just wanted to say just wanker. Straight, you wanker. Wanker. <laughs> or a hey, one time for Emmy Winehouse. My Blake, my Blake incarcerated. <laughs> Yo, that was one of the most classic sound bites ever when she won that award. Oh, <laughs> now, okay. I forgot that's where it's from. Yeah. I was wondering. Shouts out to my Blake incarcerated. <laughs> 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 I love Amy Winehouse. Rest in peace. For real. Honestly. Anyway, on a Speaking line. of white people, though. <laughs> yes. I had a funny little experience earlier. <laughs> so, like, when I when I drive and play my music, I blast everything. Whatever's on when my When you're radio. driving and what? When I'm driving oh. and playing my music, no matter the genre, it could be Elton John or Yin Yang Twins. I don't know why. You, do everything. you do everything loud. Though. Everything. So, Everything's loud. No. So, I'm in a parking lot <laughs> where there's a couple white people, and you know, they're looking at me like, oh, this guy blasting his music. But it's like foreigner blasting. So they're like <laughs> happy and mad at the same time. They're like, damn, I kind of like this shit. <laughs> How did this nigger know my taste? <laughs> like you just see them looking, but then they recognize the song. We're like, what they have you, like conflicted feelings. Like they're mad at what? your blasting the music, but they're happy at it's music like, they like. <laughs> What the hell does this guy know about? What does he know about Toto? Huh? <laughs> they know about Toto. <laughs> Those post <laughs> oh, I thought you they were some like <laughs> some dance music. No, you know Toto. <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, we already know about that. Yeah. Africa. That's my like shit. Africa. Shout out to Toto. Where? But also, are we shout shouting out. Toto out? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Does Toto care shout about that people? song? I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know another Toto song, so shout oh, out to that song. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, fuck it. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. And fuck it, I might as well introduce myself. It's your boy, I seen Black, aka Selfish. Black Dynamite, aka Way Bixby, aka Holy for Carroaches, aka <gasps> Shabby Ranks, and also bro, bro. always Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss. Army nigga, Swiss army nigga, Swiss army nigga. Yo, I'm gonna start putting some like scratches on this. Just some out out with Swiss (laughs) army (laughs) nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Swear a what? (laughs) Whoa, scratching a duck. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's It's a cat. Out out (laughs) out. It's a cat. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and speaking. Of cool cats. You see what I did there? I okay. didn't. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I want to. <laughs> you keep that in your It's okay. <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke but. it. <laughs> I think I shall. Or a split. This is Flaka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. Stop up the violence. Bruh, bruh. Right away. No I love more the gunshot. And Gun it's your boy. We, we only simulate the most powerful of guns. <laughs> That's it. What, type of, go, what type of gun go <laughs> rah, rah. The type that cuts you in half. No, the type chopper. of gun no citizen needs. <laughs> exactly. Because you know but we all hold choppers. That's a whole one. different debate. For real. <laughs> but it's your boy, Dramatic, a.k.a. Way Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Dwayne Wave, a.k.a. Loud Pat Chover, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Or oh, B.k.a. Skip Barely. <laughs> That's one of my prized possession, aka. Yo, <laughs> Skip Barely. Then I thought about it. Like, you outdid yourself. Skip. Johnson. Little <laughs> shit. <Dramatic. laughs> guy. Friend. Where did we get this Please, guy? Who can? When I said my name, like, reverse it. You know, I do it on a radio name. Really? Out, like, right? Like, that shit. Right. I love how that shit sounds. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking for a lot, guy. Right. For real. <laughs> 
That shit used to um, low key sound better than um, than the dirty, dirty version. The dirty song. version, yeah. Where like it mixed with the beat do, somehow. Where, <laughs> where put a girl on my river. <laughs> <laughs> and especially like, oh. when you hear it all the time, that's what you used to. Yeah, where? you hear the real version, you're like, wait, where's our error? Like, where? what happened? And, and you then, couldn't tell if you were listening to the clean or the dirty version, or, or listening like, to that Missy Elliott song. If you have to, wait, hold up. Where? Work it. <laughs> yeah, work it. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. <laughs> you, 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 you. Shout out to Miss Elliot, man. Yo. Underrated. Beast. Under, yeah, underappreciated. underappreciated. We, we talked about her in a previous podcast. We did. From not we listening. did. She's underappreciated. Not she enough, came, though. She came back out with some heat, man. She, N- ain't nobody Miss, was listening to it. Miss Miss yeah, because she's not shaking her ass, unfortunately. Where Miss yeah. Elliot can't be talked about. If you're not shaking your ass along with making your music not day. Yeah, and now you just basically have to be a full blown stripper. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Like you got to sell your CDs while you give a lap dance. <laughs> like this track we recorded. <laughs> <laughs> like you, <laughs> you get a dash. You're like you know I rap, right? <laughs> oh. You want me to spit you a freestyle? Like nah, you gonna make me run through more now than you one song. Now you look at the DJ like cut the song. song cut the song. <laughs> <laughs> They're popping pussy in the streets. <laughs> they're and, popping pussy. They're and selling CDs. They're popping pus- pussy and freestyling. Right. <laughs> but only black people could do some shit like that, though. Yeah. Turn something like stripping, which is frowned upon by society, blah, blah. Be a fucking famous and why? rapper and everything. And why can't or, only black people do it? You know why? Because That's a we, good question. No, no. Honestly, honestly, because we properly clean our food. And when you do that, it fucks with your mind. Yeah. If you don't do that properly, bad food can seep into your blood. Could we have, could we have discovered you. the secret to our? I to, think so. To our, to our seasoning, to our excellence. Is it, seasoning is, food, is, is one of the biggest disparities between black people and white people. Though. Yeah. My God. And yeah. this is preparing your chicken. Yeah. And well, no, no, seasoning is a whole well, other country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we're talking about right now. It's uh, just. However. however I'm gonna make a very controversial statement. Oh, black people do have the tendency sometimes, myself included, to overfeed. Oh, of course. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were gonna say something new. <laughs> <laughs> controversial. Bro. Honestly, oh, it is controversial, bro. Is, honestly, when I first that's absolutely started, not controversial. Because when you say people like you mean season it adequately. Right now, no, 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 too possible. much. That's why we be dying. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's why we that's be dying. Salt, high no, blood pressure. It's all well, that salt. Well, that's just salt. Seasoning is something else, but a lot of that, uh, most seasonings it's salt, have salt. Well, yeah. a lot of seasons salt. Get, well, yeah. It's, oh man, this is a good ass conversation. I'm so sorry. This is so important for you, my black people. Yo, look at your seasonings Word. and make sure you ain't adding salt Word. to a salt. meal with. Yeah, exactly. Word. If you're gonna add salt, yeah, make sure you. See. And if you want season salt, oh, we just went culinary on yeah, that. Yeah, man. Yo, if you look for, get that Mrs. Dash Word. with no salt, mm. Word. or get those like straightforward seasonings. You yeah. know what I mean? Right. Like, don't get too many blends. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's your chance to... Exactly. Your, your so if you want, blend, if <laughs> you want to blend seasonings, blend the seasonings yes. you want to blend. True. You just get like, hey, boom, that. season blend, and then all of a sudden you're doing that. And then plus you add in salt, plus you add in pepper, plus you exactly. add in... Exactly. So, yeah. Now you just doubled up. Yeah, basically word. everything. But I'm then... The damn word. And then going to the next extreme. No, the, the first extreme, before you season it, mm-hmm. you have to sanitize. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Now I've the, seen some wild shit on Twitter. <laughs> Sorry, on the internet. Word. And when I say I've seen some wild shit, uh. I've seen some <laughs> wild shit. I've been on How the wild. internet probably for twenty years now. Probably. I think it's safe to say the wildest shit we've ever seen has been on the internet. Yeah, yeah. But the top ten wildest <laughs> shit I've ever seen on the internet since I've been alive is these W's. Washing a chicken with soap and water. Wait, that's a real Wait, actual what? soap. I thought that was. I a didn't joke. want to believe it either. I thought what? that was a joke in the group. Chat. Was, no, no, no. <laughs> because, <laughs> because usually I on Twitter, was people fitted. go to extremes to make a point to try to go viral. Mm. For instance, not to go on a tangent, I seen this nigga throw a blunt away just to make a point in the video. I don't know if it was real weed in it, but it looked like it was. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, there's these that. videos like the oh the proper way to so and so. Oh yeah. So it'd be like the proper way to smoke a blunt, <laughs> and then he threw it away. Word. So I've seen niggas do wild shit for views. Mm. And maybe that whole washi of chicken and soap and water was a wild shit. But I've seen it elsewhere, too. Like, that wasn't the first place I saw it. Usually when I see something in more than one place, I'm like, oh, this might be a practice. Wait, but I want you to repeat this, please. Mm-hmm. What are they doing? 
They're washing their chicken in the sink with the dish soap and water. I think you might have just made me speechless. Though. So <laughs> that's insane. That's awful. So see, sorry for awful. the pause on the podcast. So see, that's, that's awful. Insane. The, the stereotypical data is conflicting right now because white people aren't known for washing their chicken at all. They're not known for washing themselves. Oh, up top for the moors. Hey, no washcloths. <laughs> no. Wow. Yeah, you just gonna, black, black. I, I how you just gonna put the whole bar of soap in your ass? What if I gotta wash my face? <laughs> or my feet? Or my feet? <laughs> Yo, that was one of the best. We know, we're not even gonna say where it's from. If you know, you know. Yeah, you know. You, you know, you know. If you don't hey, know, get on it. But, that, but, but that's, that's a wild shit. And honestly, because I get everybody benefit of doubt and have a big heart and I try to empathize and sympathize, maybe they just don't know. Now, if they do know and they still continue to do that, that's natural selection at its and, best. But. But sometimes it's just ignorance. Maybe sometimes I was like, all right, I'll give you that. But ask somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. nobody on earth does that. Right. Nobody. For, and for the ignorant, <laughs> the reason why, because there are going to be people that say, well, why can't we use soap? Well, I'll inform you, person. <laughs> soap is a chemical made by man. Mm-hmm. Well, at least the soap you use. <laughs> exactly. They and use in Dawn. I mean, Dawn what, cuts through grease. What are you doing? <laughs> Did y'all know that soap is a naturally recurring element? No, I'm playing. So, um, <laughs> no, in all seriousness, like you can't put the, all those chemicals in your food. Like you're not supposed to eat soap. Like that's yeah. crazy. The the chicken, that's flesh. It will absorb it. Exactly. It's chemical makeup. The molecules are going to be absorbed and you're going to eat that bitch. Exactly. And we don't know what that kind of effects that's going to have. Now your child's too. foaming at the mouth mm-hmm. and you take it to the hospital because you think they got a disease. No, it's on you. You Word. put soap so, in their food. Why don't we use Nature's, yeah. Anytime cleansing elements. Anytime mm-hmm. I clean with food, I usually use vinegar, mm-hmm. vinegar or like lime juice. Sometimes I use I usually use lime juice. Yeah, yeah, vinegar and lime juice. That's usually, but I feel like there's more ways, of course. But then there's a there's a thing. A lot of black people, stereotypically, of course, mm-hmm. they'll wash their uh, meat off in the sink, and that's also not. The safest practice, apparently. No, no, I mean that you're does not make wrong. sense. You're not wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't wash it in the sink. I usually wash it in a bowl, though. <laughs> not a whole. Wash your meat in a bowl. The wow. foul owl. The foul owl strikes again. First of all, first, 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 hey, you know you gotta take care of your meat. Salmonella is a foot. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> If you're, first of all, if you're washing your, if you're washing that meat in the sink, <laughs> Hold on, you've said, made you've made some bad de- well you know you didn't make some bad decisions, but you're in a compromising si- situation. Like, yeah, that was a snap that decision. right there is called a whole bath. Word. And, uh, <laughs> a whole yeah, a whole, bath. A whole shower. Word. I'm clean, but I'm not clean. <laughs> and, and ladies, ladies, if you've had a gentleman over, chances are he's washed his genitalia in your sink. No, your sink. if you've had dramatic over, chances are he's washed. His oh general, wow, don't slander my name. I'm talking about chicken. You've had <laughs> I'm talking about chicken. <laughs> like I wasn't prepared. Word, but you got to clean the sink, you know, after it. You know? Yeah, of course. And we clean don't... your counters too. Why? Why we had to? Why we gotta have commercials for you see Lysol the, wipes you to see tell y'all to clean up blood off your fucking counter? What? You you're should like, do that automatically. Like, like, what the fuck is wrong like with how, you? Like Nobody should the, tell you that. You like how the two conversations blended effortlessly. <laughs> <laughs> so the proper way to prep your 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 meat before mm-hmm. you cook it. Um, <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, a lot of germs. Well, germs in general mm-hmm. die. At the temperatures that yes, you know what I'm saying. You're you're heating your food up to what three four hundred degrees, three fifty at the absolute least. At, absolutely, <laughs> so that's enough to kill germs. You know what I'm saying? Germs yeah. they stop um reproducing at 199 degrees. That's why you get fever. Um, and I think it's like 120 or something like that. It starts killing them. So, cooking itself is a process of cleaning your food. So that's true. Absolutely. So boom. But it that's doesn't true. need just. Take your meat out and drop it in the pan. Exactly. In, yeah, yeah, no, of course. In, of course in, not. In all fashions of life, it don't mean you take your meat out and, and drop it on and, the pan. And, 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 and we're not just making random claims mm-hmm. about white people versus black people. And I'll speak from a story of experience. Story time. Story time. <laughs> story time. Okay, let me stop singing. Yo, 
So in high school, man, my two my homies, they twins, right? I'm about to put them on blast. So their pops is white and their moms is black. And whenever they pops would cook chicken, oh, uh, R.I.P. Pops. All right, but yeah, on the real. But every time he would cook chicken, they'd be like, yo, dad cooked chicken. Because I would look in the fridge, I'd be like, there's so much food in here, can I have some? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I seen black people <laughs> famous for that one. What are you talking about? Yo, I will cook for all y'all too, though. So, <laughs> yeah, he did it. Yeah. No, okay, go ahead. I made y'all on bomb ass grilled cheeses, man. No, there's some smush good. fry. No, so, no, uh, yeah, there's some. Yeah, so. Big fat, and they would say, "Yo, we would we not we not eat chicken when when my dad makes it." And I would be like, "Why? Like it looks good, it smells good." And he's like, "He don't clean it." And I'm like, "What? This is the first time I. This is how I learned that white people don't clean the meat." Mm-hmm. And he said, "They were like, you don't know white people don't clean the meat before they cook it. <laughs> 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 Their own father. <laughs> Half of him is right. Half of him is not white. Their own father, and they try to teach him." Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> they try to teach their pops how to clean the meat and shit. He still don't do it. Be like, ah, this is how I do it back in Maine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yo, this is great stories, man. Yeah. Like, no, but it was funny, though. It did taste good, though. I still tried it. The chicken was actually good, except for the parts that I spit out. <laughs> but I mean, which was most of no, I mean, that goes to show. I mean, you don't really have to. You knew how to but I wonder it. where that stems from. I mean, because you know, everything always stems from a thing either of like either from slavery or from <laughs> no, or that's just culture, culture. that's culture from, you know what i'm saying Cultures like, why, why, why black past. people don't swim why that why it's a lot of little things so i wonder <laughs> like if it was on some stuff and this is just pure speculation can i speak my theory oh, oh you are you saying i, I had right one now? but i, I have probably, one too, my bad. So no. it's probably the same one i y'all have no go no, no, no. go 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 ahead man go ahead maybe it was a thing where like um, black people didn't always have ex- didn't have access to the cleanest of meat to begin with, you know what I'm saying? So they always had to okay. go the extra Good. mile oh. to clean that meat, probably cut away parts that weren't clean and, and stuff like that. that. That's and maybe that's why it's a huge thing. That, I don't know. This is pure. This is a theory. No, no, no. That, 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 that's you know, plausible. You know what I'm saying? That's Yo, very plausible. And that but. could also tie. Like, and my theory could still stand. <clears throat> mm. Possibly true with your theory. <laughs> We over here speculating, mm. but I'm thinking like, all right, so for the upper crust, you know, the, the white people who had slaves, mm. they ain't know how to cook. Mm. <laughs> the black people cooked everything. So oh, after slavery, oh, after oh, slavery see? and everything, they're like, that was one of my, true. <laughs> just throw the meat in the pan. Yeah. Cook for Fuck it. Dang, yeah. dog. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, but then, dog. I but I mean, I, and then. Uh, and you know what proves that theory even more, bro? Who can cook the best? Out of white people, the South, white Southerners, dog white niggas that was oh too, shit niggas that was too poor to have slaves. Wow, and there it is, bam, that there it is. Wow, shit. you get in the episode. <laughs> we don't have to record but, another episode. And let, and let, again, th- again, this is all speculation. And but, and yeah. let's not. But talk it's plausible. But, bro. It, is, it makes sense. But that, it does know, make sense. It, but what also is. Tr- fact is that you know they also brought over diseases to this country but pre you know around that mm-hmm. time as well mm-hmm. so you know who knows how they prepared their meat and other you know foods or how long they stored their food for True. you know what their practices were and True. things like that well that was one of mine mm-hmm. great advice like, no. but i was gonna go on some you know kill wadi sorry kill master shit mm. like maybe oh, no. they didn't tell them on purpose <laughs> so they can possibly, you know, <laughs> fuck themselves up in the future. That is so, yo. Get them in the long run. That is a long game. Yo, that hey. is, yo, <laughs> some, some real, hey. yo, that, that <laughs> might have happened too. Yeah, you, like, you, 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 you was holding for base. Like, how y'all niggas cooking? Oh, like, we cook like teach this. me how to cook this. Like, <laughs> and we got the real right. shit. Over yeah, here. You know like, what you doing? Go ahead, eat that what raw ass doing? chicken cracker. Show them how to clean. You'll be wiped out very soon. What if eating rare meat came from just cooking it halfway? Showing master that that's how you cook it. Real, like cook it halfway. It's ready. <laughs> like, it's, all, it's all trial and error. All right, now we're just being ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, but the pl- the the plausibleness TPSG dictionary, the plausibleness mm-hmm. is plausibility. By the way, that might be yes. in Webster. Actually, I, we might have taken that. Yeah, if, <laughs> that might if be a conversate is in there. Then, yeah, 
It grinds oh my, my gears. God. That does <laughs> grind my gears. I can't believe. Oh, Conversation. So mad. Just because Michael Jordan said it. Oh, he said it's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question but, uh, MJ. <laughs> <laughs> but here's, I feel you. Uh huh. But here's my spin on it too. Um, if Shakespeare can make up words. So That's true. I saw somebody yeah. say. I heard somebody say. I was like, ah, but the, yeah, you're right. You're right but you're didn't right. they replace converse with conversation? They didn't replace it. It's just there. Yeah. Conversation there. is there. Is another. Oh, because okay. if I mean, when you think about it, if it's a part it, of the culture and people use it and people on the regs and people <laughs> and people generally understand what you're saying when you use it and they don't give a damn. It's part of the language now. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, no, no, you make a good point, but I can still no, no, I express feel my quarrels. No, trust me. <laughs> Let Trust me. Express why. You know it's why I'm there, at- It's based out of an uh, ignorant statement, and it's now. Uh, it, I feel you. Yeah. I yeah. feel you. I'm yeah. not going to yeah. lie. I have a selfish reason why I'm upset about it. Well, even isn't being upset selfish anyway. So, um, <laughs> 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 TBSG thoughts. But um, Hashtag. I was just more upset because I thought conversate just sounded better as I was young, when I was young. And then when I found out it was actually converse, I was. I worked so hard at changing my own personal vocabulary yeah. to converse and making converse sound better to me. Mm-hmm. And then after that, after all that bullshit you motherfuckers <laughs> put me through, conversate is a real word now, it you is motherfuckers. In there. That's exactly how 15 I feel, years bro. of my life. I will be listening. <laughs> I could not say conversate without cringing. Cringing, my guy. <laughs> and now you cringing. add the bitch. So what are, y'all gonna go back and change my grades in tenth grade, nigga? Right? What the fuck? In, in language arts? Yo, right? Conversate my paper, nigga. What about Damn, actually? Dog. It's converse. Damn. A lot of <laughs> a, a lot of GPAs need to be changed, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Hey, <laughs> repeal and rep- whatever the fuck that bro. Rep- <laughs> grades <laughs> reparations. Yeah. Grades reparations. Academic oh, reparations. Hey. Because hey, academic reparations for every child who's ever suffered from having conversation. Marked on his language <laughs> arts Word. essay, explanatory or narrative, <laughs> and now it's in the fucking dictionary, Word. dog. Motherfucker, I want my three point eight five, bitch. <laughs> For real, go give me Y'all, unweighted motherfucker. I would have got in prison. I would have got in prison. <laughs> I would have got in the Yale, Cornell. I still get the letter, fam. <laughs> I still got the letter. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> fucking conversation. <laughs> Uh, for long story short, <laughs> clean your damn chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right. Oh, and yeah, wash your true. ass. Too. <laughs> that's always relevant. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, <laughs> shit ain't gonna change relevant. if you don't wash your ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, a, that's a long and short, bro. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Oh, oh wash that chicken ass too. Oh, oh wash good dude. Chicken ass, bro. Oh, Ooh, man. Whoa. Okay. Thank, you, thank you for that. We got a good yeah. laugh. We needed that, man. We did. We there's really a lot because there's a lot going on right now, man. Yeah, we, man. For real. Sad to inform about the uh, unfortunate passing of the legendary, late, great, culturally shifting, or more so cultural amplifier, mm-hmm. John Singleton. John, yo, yeah. cultural director, amplifier. I like that. Director, producer, writer. Word amongst many things. Mm-hmm. Word the Word. the first the first black man the first black person and, and youngest and youngest person to mm-hmm. be um to be nominated for a Academy Award yeah for best director yeah, for Boys in the Hood for exactly. Boys in the Hood <coughs> yeah um yeah. and should have won didn't he get nominated for best original screenplay too I believe <coughs> let's fact the, check that because that was an original story but yes mm-hmm. and that broke that broke the um. Not even broke more, created them all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So oh, they're yeah. like, yeah, we can create powerful pieces too if y'all just pay attention to us. Word. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I shout out to John Singleton mm-hmm. and every Charles Blazer like him before us. Mm-hmm. But, um, Spike yeah, Lee. like they, they yeah, Spike Lee, of course. Word. Yeah. Yeah. You could tell he was a student. And now you have Let's people like Ryan Lee. Coogler, Ava DuVernay, mm-hmm. um, of course, Jordan Peele. Big shout out to right. him. Right. And, and not and only also, that, we're, we're, we're um, transcending genres, John, too. Exactly. Gary, um, F. Gary Gray. F. Gary Gray created yeah. all y'all He's favorite movies yeah. ever. Yeah. Friday. Right. Yeah, he directed Friday. You, uh, you, y'all, F. Gary Gray, everything. Yeah. Music videos. Music. Right. He, 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 he did a Fast and the Furious, didn't he? 
And he did straight out of Compton. Uh, he did straight out of Compton. Uh, John, John Singleton. John Singleton did, 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 did too fast, fast, too furious. Yeah, he did too fast, too furious. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but I, which yeah, I thought was good. Great taught you niggas how to <laughs> like no, 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 no. All really. these people, all, all these, all these guys, man. Yeah, and um, and at like the, one of the great things about Boys in Hood is that it depicted like the extreme on both sides. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Right. Like, and of how course, it can happen not every one. hood is like that, but there are hoods like there's hoods worse than that, mm-hmm. and not just you know the extreme on both sides, but that it can happen across the street. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. like it's in such a small radius. Mm-hmm. And um, my bad. I, I wasn't no, trying no, to take no, continue, it. I just continue. wanted you to continue. Okay, or, so need, yeah, yeah. Like, he, sorry, but, he did get nominated for best original screenplay and best director. Like mm-hmm. he opened up the it's conversation crazy. and he educated with that movie. Like Word. you know, we had it in the house on VHS, and a lot of you know, it was. It was raw. A lot of families, you know, a lot of parents, a lot of adults were against, you know, against those kinds of movies because of, yeah. you know, the violence in it. But that was really happening. That was a, you know, that things like that happen every other week, you know, mm-hmm. every day, every other, um, every week, every other week in neighborhoods mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. especially in the 90s. Word. You know, because when you concentrate a lot of people in those neighborhoods, but Boys in the Hood, movies like Boys in the Hood, you n- would have never heard about gentrification before Boys in the Hood. If mm, you were just no. an average person mm. in mm. the city, you know, you would have never knew what that never. meant. You these, would have never heard that term. These movies were the internet before the internet, well, before social, yeah. w- were social media. Mm-hmm. Before, before so, yeah. Because yeah. It, it, it put you on to a, a lot of stuff. It was our own, it was the only... Uh, media outlet, mm. you know, of or voice of what was going on in Where, the neighborhoods other than that the so many people were going through. Mm-hmm. We just didn't have that exposure to these types of conversations. So, Where, you know, shout out to John Singleton because it was so sudden. He, you know, what he had a massive stroke. Yeah, he yeah, suffered yeah. from complications from it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he fell into a coma. Yeah, and um, but at least you know, you know, in light, mm-hmm. this man. Has a body of work Word. that Absolutely. you can refer to. <laughs> um, so we mentioned on, well, much. You didn't speak in. Oh, I wanted to poetic talk about justice. like because mm-hmm. you mentioned like the violence and how people were against it. Because um, the whole there's been a narrative right about mm-hmm. black people that were violent and stuff, and that's been pushed through the news and stuff. They're always showing that side, so people are always wary of the image that you paint us in. So yeah. that's why people are criti- critical of like certain music, certain videos. And when people saw a lot of, with that movie, when people saw the violence, like they didn't really understand it. But what was important was the stories behind the violence and what goes on and the pa- like the parallel of like different types of people. Because mm. a lot of times when it, when it comes to understanding like and having empathy is seeing these stories. Mm-hmm. And like <clears throat> people like John Singleton, people like, um f gary gray people like um spike lee showing these stories because the music tells the story too but like the grand audience a lot of times don't, they don't really understand mm-hmm. music mm-hmm. they it's, get it start they, they're starting to now while yeah. it's blowing up but before, it's not easy to digest though exactly but seeing, yeah. seeing, <laughs> seeing, seeing if you're not part of the culture word but seeing the character develop seeing what happened like not just seeing that oh this this person shot this person seeing what happened before that mm-hmm. and it's how like it led how, to that how it led to that what that yeah. person was what was that person's frame of mind so even if you're looking at it and you don't agree with what they're doing you see what their frame of mind is mm-hmm. and then there and you see the issue mm-hmm. and that opens a lot so like people like a lot of times like entertainment it opens up a world to a whole lot of change you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Word, like people's minds start changing just based on what they see. Oh yeah, and yeah, Sam, that's a good, that's a great statement, man. It does, it opens up the minds because it it's it does, important. it opens up the conversation because you catch that person in that vulnerable state where they're willing to, you know, listen to the story through the, you know, the lore, you know, the film, like the the way it's presented and John Singleton, the way he wrote these stories, the way he produced, it, directed the film, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, the shots, like. All that plays into the presentation of how the person digests what's happening. Mm-hmm. And he made it presentable into a way that, you know, other ethnicities, you know, can, uh, people from other cultures can watch it, enjoy it, and feel the emotions and have empathy for these characters because they realize, oh, these are not just characters. Like, there's a Ricky in every neighborhood. There's mm-hmm. Rickies in every neighborhood, man. Mm-hmm. 
there are you know smart kids you know that just are caught in the wrong situation there's you know and then those that go down the other path and are just doing that for survival mm -hmm. but these are real stories and john singleton you know was able to he had an opportunity and a platform to bring it to light in a very beautiful way and i think he executed that um and mm -hmm. then with bring of, and then hmm? okay with a lot of different stories like you look at um, this, yeah, we on the same well, we on the same wavelength, word, man. Because I was about to say that word, word, like with a story told in Boys in the Hood, the story being told in Baby Boy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's all okay. different <clears throat> avenues, and you see, you see things through, and it's like you see, th you see life through the eyes of like people who society or have have at the lowest. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the people who are most misunderstood. Yeah. And it shows you the intelligence levels they actually have mm -hmm. because, you know, there are different types of intelligence. Mm -hmm. No, there yeah. are many different types of intelligence. So, um, you know, and once you realize that, you know, you know, we, these people don't have access to, you know, great school systems. So, mm -hmm. but there's the intelligence is still there and it will mm -hmm. show itself mm -hmm. in any, yeah. you know, in other ways. <clears throat> and um, so even stories like Poetic Justice, Mm -hmm. You know that was a dope mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, that, and it was just a and it was just a real movie uh, about some regular black people in the neighborhood. And <laughs> one of my about biggest love. um that's one of my um biggest gripes with critics. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like some of them don't know, don't understand what he's writing about, and they don't bother to find out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they um. Now I don't go too much on ratings, but Boys in the Hood got a ninety six percent. That's pretty damn high. Yeah, on Rotten Tomatoes, but Poetic Justice got like a much lower rating. I'm like, they, they were and that both equally so good. good. Yeah, but the thing is, they don't understand someone doing that and going through what they're going through and whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Poetic Justice was, you know, a bit more light hearted than Boys in the Hood, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. in comparison, but it still um, portrayed the message properly. Mm -hmm. Just put it on, um, you know, they, and they it just presented the it same in other elements. Way. Yeah, you yeah, know, and it had it had a lot of violence, death. Yeah, you know, there were there were, there were a lot of different elements in poetic justice that drugs were, that were it, drugs. Yeah, and um, sex. Because these these sex elements, in the hood. Where, sex in the hood. <laughs> where these elements are ever present in, in our environments, bro. Like no matter yeah. no matter what path you choose to take, like if you're the if you're the kid, like, I'm going to keep my head down. I'm going to get my grades right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah. They're still around mm -hmm. people getting shot, being killed. Um, you know somebody who, you know, you, you could reach out and know somebody who participates in certain activity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're, you're exposed to it. Oh, yeah. So it's like no matter. So it's like that's, that's your environment no matter it's what just, you do. Yeah, mm -hmm. Proximity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, um, I posted some about that recently, like the, the whole black on crime, crime based on, thing. And yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's based, it's on, based proximity. on proximity. It's not a black it's just, on black. You know, thing. some they portray to continue to beat you down mentally. Mm -hmm. That's all. Where it make you feel guilty that something about something that doesn't really exist. Mm -hmm. mm, exactly. Now, one I was thinking about while I was talking is Baby Boy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's one of my. Favorite I feel movies. like Baby Boy would have fared way better if it came out now. Because a lot of us are like that nigga. Mm. Because we're um a lot of us are at that age where you know what I'm saying like I'm not saying everybody's a you know not out their mom house or whatever, but yeah. a, <clears throat> like there, there's news news articles that millennials are sucking their pants dry. Millennials mm. are still living at home. <laughs> millennials yeah. are not buying diamonds. Mm. Millennials not you know buying what I'm diamonds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like right. and, and baby boy is going through the same shit. You know yeah. he's grown. Right. He got a kid. He got a you know baby mom. He's not handling this shit yeah, exactly. for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? But mm. that's another one that got a that got a low rate. I'm like, you know, maybe if Tupac was then y'all would have liked it. Baby boy got a low rating. I'm telling you, that's that, like incredible, man. Yeah, and like they got look, Omar Gooding in it, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like that's the first time I see Omar Gooding soccer, nigga. I'm yeah, like, oh. you're a wild and crazy kid. Yeah. What are you doing? Hey, wow. He's a, <laughs> brought it back. He's a he's an underrated actor. He is. That right. whole family is. Sometimes Word. Cuba's annoying with his roles. Not him as a person, but his role. I'm like, Word. you chose that movie? <laughs> to me, I but think, he's a good actor still. I think he might be better, like, better than Cuba. Because I've seen him in some roles. of like, yo. Because like, he's been in some, like, 
Um, well, he's more of a method actor than Cuba. Yeah, he was a character actor, word. and I feel like he's more like trying to earn his way. He be acting the fuck out them roles. Bro. Oh, I mean, he he's he's at that point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But um, <laughs> but, but even even go we need makeup. Word. Makeup, <laughs> makeup. Word. Jet- Out of my face, Janet! Please, <laughs> I look horrible. Okay. Damn it, it's not even. But even even bringing back the the conversation to John Singleton and. And like his impact, and mm. that just him just being what he is mm. a director, you know what I mean? And a writer. He, and a writer. He wrote and directed the majority of those. Exactly. Yeah. So that just shows oh, people <laughs> like, imagine how, how many black directors and writers there are out there now who are there because of him, you know what I mean? Because he, because he paved the way, occupied that. Because we were talking about this earlier. He, like he, when he do, he was doing it. Like he must have been, cause he directed on um, Boys and Who at twenty four. He must have been twenty three. Twenty three. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So imagine, imagine, cause yeah, yeah. cause we know, you know, basically what it takes to to put a a film production together. Yes, that takes. You know, it's, what I'm it's the, not easy. The work and stuff <laughs> like that, especially you know, ninety four. That what they're doing. Ninety one. Ninety one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like with film, they're doing real, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. they got to make measurements, they gotta cut stuff, and you know what I'm saying? So And it was so beautifully yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my I got my information directly from my videographer Cam. That's why mm, Shout know. out Cam G. Cam G. So <laughs> so like he has to he has to do all these things. Like imagine being that guy amongst black people. You know what I'm saying? They don't really understand it. Like, a trailblazer. Word, like nigga, That's you exactly a, what you word, like, nigga, you in a dark room cutting the parts like you you look like a nerd, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, pretty like, sure he, he probably would have went through like, bro, what are you doing? For real. Yeah, oh yeah. It was sure. a story on his heart and he had to get it out. He word. had to portray it. He had to produce it. He, he well, did everything himself. He said though. he said it himself like, you know, I think it was in film school and he said um they told him, "Well, you know, write what you know." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "I know South Central." <laughs> yeah, I know South Central Los Angeles. That's what I know. So, and that's another thing he does it. a good job of um, representing the city where he's from. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, watch those movies. Like, I be stepping around like, it's you know, so crib walkers. You it's know what I'm saying? So like, authentic. Man. It's immersive. There you go. That's what very I'm immersive. For. Very immersive. Yeah, right. So, shouts out to John Singleton, man. And if you haven't watched any of his movies or haven't have only seen a couple of his movies, mm-hmm. or if you were surprised hearing. One of these movies you haven't seen before, go check it out, man, because it's, it's it's black excellence. Yes, that's the only way to put it. <laughs> just, just how you love, you know, all your Christopher Nolans and your Spielbergs and all them. Mm-hmm. They're, they're great. They're great, too. They're great at what they do. But right. so with people like John Singleton, mm-hmm. so with people like Jordan Peele, mm-hmm. Ava DuVernay, Ryan Coogler, Spike Lee. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. DJ mm-hmm. Pooh also DJ co-wrote Pooh, Friday. Yo, Pooh, DJ yeah. Pooh is dope. Yeah, yeah man, and yeah. um, the Hughes brothers. Mm-hmm. Th- that's another pair yes. right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I man, it's, it's like you got to understand. Like we're just as good, if not better, than everybody else out there. Right. You just have to, you just have to give us a chance. True. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he 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 carved it. He carved that niche for us. Right. He helped carve it. Yeah, and yeah, he helped pave the way definitely. Yeah. And that that goes into what we t- what we wanted to talk about next, and and that's just black people just. Blazing the, the the way in 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 different avenues, just you know, mm. creating a space because that that's really what it's about. You know, what I mean, I I feel like we've been talking about that over these past episodes, like representation and making the people aware that these things are available. Mm-hmm. So people like you know Tiger Woods in golf. <laughs> With the co- I've never really. seen so many niggas that never gave two fucks about golf mm-hmm. celebrate Tiger Woods winning. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just I'm making Stop a point. Table. Emphasis, mm. emphasis. <laughs> word. Word. Like all he had to do, dog. Everybody was up. He could have, he could have walked into yeah. Congress. All the people celebrated. Word. Yeah. He could have overthrew the country. Like honestly, word. So you know, Venus and Serena and Williams. Oh, with tennis. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like constant excellence. Exactly. <laughs> and you see these people. And um, recently, I saw. Uh, I've been seeing these videos. Um, this fencer. Fencing. When's the last time you thought about fencing? The last, last time Olympics. I watched a white person movie, <laughs> Richie Rich, Rich, Richie Rich. Rich. I love you, man. No fencing in that. So, Prison Princess. <laughs> so there's a fencer named Miles Watson. 
Hey. Need I say more? I'm bro, this dude, really rocking. This dude, yeah. bro, nice, bro. And it's like, <laughs> not only like is he like dominating, mm-hmm. but he's like he then he has finesse, bro. Oh, mm-hmm. that that's all we can do. Every yeah. like, we have to do is put he's, style on everything. He's literally <laughs> revolutionizing the sport. Like, you know, he's doing like different tricks and mm-hmm. stuff like that uh-huh. and, and, and pinning people. I like I don't I'm not gonna like pretend to understand the sport. <laughs> yeah, oh, facts. You know what I'm saying. But what he's doing looks dope to me. You know what I'm saying. As somebody who has never had an interest in fit fencing, <laughs> but to just see this and like see him, I'm like, wow. And that makes me want to potentially watch. Yeah. You know, a, a fencing Did match. He, yeah. Right. And who who knows? A kid this summer, but like, mom, I don't want to do karate. Word. I want to do fencing. Word. <laughs> No, but seriously, yeah, that, that kid, you know, reach out to people and, you know, Word. You, you never know, like, we can have a black fencing team within the next two years. Word, but then, you know, it, it goes into... In the Olympics. One, one awareness, Olympics. you know what I'm saying, that these things are there and they're dope, and accessibility. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Because a lot of these sports are priced out of our population, generally. But then... You know, as time goes on, we're having more and more black people with money. Oh, yeah. So, you know, these barriers are starting to break so, down. Yeah, because to be to excel Back in things straight. like tennis, you know, like you got to dedicate a lot of time and money. Mm-hmm. Like you got to get personal coaching after right. a certain point. Like there aren't mm-hmm. great school. pro. There's not great tennis programs in mm-hmm. public schools. You have to be like naturally talented mm-hmm. and then seek help in order to make it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you got to yeah. enter in those competitions and contests and leagues. But um, so and usually when you hear um, about these stories of, of black people breaking through, it's usually because of like you always hear the the parents of like huge sacrifice and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah that's make true. It there. When you talk yeah. about um, Venus and Serena Williams' dad and um, Lewis Hamilton parents mm-hmm. and like even these, no sacrifices even from people like Zion. Um, if y'all never heard of Zion Wright, he's a skateboarder, a mm-hmm. black skateboarder from Florida. He's from Jupiter, mm-hmm. and his father sacrificed a lot. Like mm-hmm. even quit his job delivering like newspapers just mm-hmm. so he could drive him to like competitions and stuff mm-hmm. in the morning. Like that like it's that kind of sacrifice and now he's like a millionaire. <laughs> Word. So he you know it's that's what it takes sometimes. Mm-hmm. Word. Yeah. And but then that that goes that that begs the question to parents now. Are you willing to make that sacrifice? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Depend I, it depends I on like, I feel like a lot of parents are still well it's I'm and not so, a parent, so let, let me not. Some sometimes, I was, yeah. I was gonna say so, that, sometimes yeah. it's oh, like brother. sometimes a kid has a na- a child has a natural affinity mm. for something, and you if you see that the, how much care the child has for it, yeah, then that makes all the difference. Like True. if the kid, if you're just trying to push your child to do something and think mm. they're gonna be great, no, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. And like, and not every child is gonna be a you know the greatest at something. Mm. Not to that. That sounds terrible. Yeah, but like it's the truth. because it's the truth, because though. no. But sometimes you, you gotta, gotta be real. But you gotta find too, also find you know whatever whatever that child's niche is. You know, mm-hmm. everyone is unique in their own way. Of course, so yeah. like that's why you find the things that they're passionate about, and then whatever you sacrifice to invest in that for them, mm-hmm. that's worth it. True. Because mm-hmm. whatever they're passionate about, that's what feeds their spirit and that's what's going to them contributing to society in the future. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, you have people like Zion Wright, and if I'm not mistaken, his his father is like um resurrecting or like contributing to a project like um for a skate park down in Miami mm-hmm. uh under the ninety five. And um where they're putting in like a, I think a couple million for it. And um and that's gonna be a safe place for skaters to go and not get chased by cops or security. Mm, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, that's dope. Yeah, creating black safe haven. Exactly. Callback. Callback. <laughs> do 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 do. do. And, and when you when you think about it, though, like fast forward, you know, five ten years, how many pros is that skate that skate park going to produce? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And and that's what we need. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Yeah. Um. A, a big shout out to um. Actually. They're my little brother's f- friend. His sisters are like gold yeah. medalist water polo um players for like US team and they both went to Princeton. What? Dope. Yeah. And 
They're Jamaican. My brother's friend, auntie, auntie, auntie <laughs> So my brother's cousin. friend, <laughs> his sisters, um, Ashley Johnson and Chelsea Johnson. That's their names? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Ashley Johnson was just in like the... um. She won two gold medals. One was in the last Olympics for water polo okay. for U.S. And other was when uh, the aquatic games or something. Okay. It was like something separate. But yeah, two gold medals from Princeton, Jamaican, from Miami. Wow. Duh, that's like wow. the mold. You yeah, know what I'm beautiful. saying? True. Yeah, beautiful, but... um, and, I, and that takes sacrifice. You know, it takes sacrifice for your kids and mm, investing in, mm-hmm. you know, what's important to mm. them. I believe in their dreams, man. Oh, yeah. Back your kids' dreams. Yeah. Back yeah, your kids' dreams. Sure. No matter if it's, they don't, it don't sound like it makes sense to you now. Just... Yeah. And if they, it doesn't. They understand it. Like, they never realize. The child understands. Right. As much as you think they don't, they're like, no, no, I, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. some children do do research and do right. do. Yeah. <laughs> like if your child it's in 2019 shit, walks up to you and be like, "Hey, um, I want to play this video game um, professionally, and I can do the da da da." Like, let him do that shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let him do that. Let him do that. You do that shit. You be hosting Thanksgiving at your house every parent, year. <laughs> your natural reaction is like, you just want to play video games all day. Da da da. You know what I'm saying? But so at, the same, time, with, <laughs> at yeah. the same time, with something like. No, no, with anything, whether it be video games or football, you're still, you still have the parent. Yeah. Like, yeah, don't forget yeah. that. You're yeah, not just yeah. their agent and you're no, yeah, yeah, their you're trainer. Right. You course. still have the parent. Right. You still mm-hmm. have to regulate things and pull things back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, no, you're right. But I agree with you. At, at this day and age, mm-hmm. I guarantee you, like, let's say that happens to you. Let's say you have a child mm-hmm. 18 years later. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, he probably would get paid more doing that. Mm-hmm. Then you would have gotten paid being a doctor in our time, Word. like in the future. Dog. Like it's everything is just the technology of bus yeah. now. Hey, Dad, I want to yeah. do holographic Quidditch. Do go for yeah, it. Yeah, so. All right, it, but you got to get straight A's, hey. or I'm Word. taking it away. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and, and that's great. You know, practice in the simulator every day. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Get you. Yeah, because it's absolutely find a broom that fits you. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely important that we have black representation in all areas. You know, whatever you're mm-hmm. interested in, mm-hmm. you know, Just, pursue it. Yeah. Uh, you know, regardless of like, you know, gone are the times where you know the only way you could be successful is like you know asking kids in class like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I'm gonna be a basketball player. I'm gonna be a you know, I'm gonna be an actor. I'm gonna be an actor. You know, mm-hmm. It's just all actor now. My bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, right. I'm gonna be an actor. You know, um, so it either gotta be an athlete or you gotta be in the media, right. an you entertainer. Gotta, in some way, so, you gotta be entertaining these crackers. No, yeah. So you know, now we have. <laughs> well, we did kind of pose more ways to enter those crackers, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. and besides mm-hmm. the, the basic, you know. Yeah, of Cow course. Uh, no, of course you can still do that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not saying no, don't be still, a doctor. No, but of then, course, definitely but still do that. But with, with all how these... many? How like you should still do that. But how many black children thought, you know what? I want to be a screenwriter. Mm. I want to write screenplays. Or, but yeah. I got to be a lawyer. Mm. Oh no, absolutely. I, I, I went through the same thing. How many? I, I, I remember the majority mm. of my school time. I felt like I went there like just for my parents. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, great. I still learned a lot of shit and everything, but like that's not what I wanted to do. Exactly. Word. You know what I'm so saying? Like, like, let's not waste your time or my time. Word. Just from the jump. Word. Let's <laughs> just go with my idea. You know what I'm saying? Let's go with our. It's gonna to work out faster. Word. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. And, with, and with everything, there's a bag with everything. With oh, every, absolutely. With every industry. So just being aware that these industries exist, right? So say I'm a, I'm a kid and I'm watching and I see fencing for the first time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That That's a whole world that, that opens up to me because guess what? It's not only just the athletes. It's the, they're, they're literal experts that judge. They're people who build the, the mm-hmm. sensors and the, 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 um, mm-hmm. the material and... You know, the equipment. If you're into clothing and Word. textile, you Word. could. If you're into true. technology, because it looks like a very tech savvy thing with the sensors mm-hmm. and yeah. stuff like that. That's mm-hmm. true, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? There's all types of um, opportunity there. Yeah. There's so many Absolutely. fields that you could go into that mm-hmm. would allow you a to have a, a, a position in fencing if Word. you love fencing. Word. Yeah. A lot of high <laughs> paying, there, there's a lot of high paying jobs, I would imagine, behind anything. You know what I'm saying? No, Horseback absolutely. Horseback riding, um, dog show. Shout out Lil Nas X. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's, there's, you know, 
there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot of dog enthusiasts in our community. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's of, something I saw from a no, jit. Well, well, like, you know what I'm he's been taking care of dogs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Outcast, Outcast used to they advertise. Still do. Yeah, they still they do. Still have a no, kennel. I'm saying in their CD booklets, they used to advertise yeah. their pound. <laughs> Yo, that's Yo. how old I am. I had somebody asked all of them. Like, I remember reading advertising their kennel in the back of the Italian. First of all, I remember album cover. And and stumbling through like pamphlets from albums. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, so, yeah. ATL had a comic in it. That, yeah, ATL had yeah. a whole ass comic. That in itself dates and you already. already. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> niggas been had iPods for a while now. Niggas probably looking oh, at yeah, a CD all, case like, yeah. "Oh, this is what you break your weed down on?" Because <laughs> <laughs> weed's <laughs> pretty sturdy. Stuff. <laughs> word. word. <laughs> <laughs> but on that, I feel like we went around the world and back. Nah, so nah, that nah. was a TPSG. Wild ass freestyle conversation. I don't know. Now, the you ain't, you ain't noticed that you just rhymed though. Yeah, he's like, on we're, that we just went around the world and back. And took, yeah, oh. Anyway, so that was pretty dope. Yeah, sound like word. Word. it sounded dope. Word. It did. So, that was some Nas shit. Word. <laughs> but who's that over there? Let them know one more game before we dip high. One time for the extraductions. It's your boy I C Black, <laughs> aka No. <laughs> AKA Way Bixby, AKA Holy Book of Roaches, AKA I already said Black Dynamite, AKA You Could Always Bet on Black, <laughs> AKA Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga, Swiss Army Nigga. Wow, 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 wow. wow. <laughs> Nigga. We <laughs> sound like that nigga from you Creed. Well, wow. I don't know how to make it. With man. arms wide open. See? With arms wide open. Yo, it's not open. It's open. You said home, right? Wait, that's yeah. not Creed, oh, okay. is it? Is it Creed? <laughs> That is Creed. That is Creed. Yeah, that is Creed. Okay, no, I'm just making yeah. sure. Is yeah. there a Christian rap band too? Oh. A rap band. <laughs> you heard what Pat Alto said about this? Beard, beard, beard. And now, for the first time ever on stage, Christian rap band, oh, oh. Creed. <laughs> With arms wide open. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it sounds like you yeah. got mashed potatoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to sit in the back of your throat. Oh, oh, oh. I you can't do it. Wait, wait. You, 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 you singing with the actual, what, 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 what's the shit called in, in the back of your throat again? That, that wiggle? You sing, yeah, that's what you're singing with, bro. Yeah, you singing with your oh. But anyway. <laughs> wow. That was this one is. last TPSG. Wow. And this is. Black of, <laughs> Black of Fulu. Black of Fulu. This is. Oh no. This is Flock of Zulu, aka Nicodemus, aka Sir Black Stanley the Third, aka <sighs> No More, aka Dr. Wilds. And before I extradite <laughs> myself, mm. um, there was an article he has to say. He needs to. Say no, no, no. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Yeah, okay. There was an article <laughs> from John that- Singleton's family mm. that said, "Please check your blood pressure, like young black men, mm. like check it regularly, mm. because John Singleton's only 51." Yeah, remember that. Yeah. So take care of yourselves, health wise, yeah. please. Yo, Word. exercise, get that blood flowing. Yeah, go mm-hmm. running. Do a couple push ups before and after bed. Word. Stop eating yeah. salt. Take, take, yeah. take the cod liver Word. aisle. Word. Hey, hey stop, listen. Stop yo. over seasoning your stop chicken. Stop over seasoning oh, your chicken. Full Thank you. Circle. Full circle. Up top. We are amazing. Up top. Okay, we're not we are not having but, ourselves on the back here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. they call me Mr. Dramatic, aka Wade Chappelle, aka Wave of McGrady, aka Dwayne Wave, aka Black Galifianakis, aka Loud Pack Chopra. The loud, uh, loud track jumper is so like. But well, do you like, know where it's from though? The the nickname itself. No, but you said it yeah. so like deep. You you said it such like an ending of a, a documentary. Love. And I am loud track track Chopra. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. From the BBC.
The Bay. The Bay. You have to have a low hanging lip before you say. <laughs>